My name is Jason Hadley. I'm a staff attorney with the Legal Aid Society of New York. Uh, I've been a staff attorney there since 2003. I've been a part of Every Nation since 2006. Uh, I would visit the church while I was dating my now wife, Taneza. Uh, when we got married in 2008, I joined Every Nation, so I've been a member since 2008. The Legal Aid Society exists uh, to provide legal services to people who can't afford them. I think it's been around since the late 19th century, um, providing legal services to immigrants arriving to the city. And it's grown from that uh, to incorporate many different practice areas from criminal defense, uh, immigration, unemployment, uh, discrimination, uh, housing, uh, divorce, many different types of, of legal services it provides, including representing children in family court. At the Legal Aid Society, I work as a staff attorney in the housing unit in the Bronx Neighborhood Office. I'm in a specific unit of that unit called the Housing Help Program that targets specific zip codes in the Bronx that have high rates of eviction and homelessness. And we have a, a holistic approach where I work with paralegals and social workers to try to meet the needs of our clients as well as represent them in court. The people who wind up in court are usually the most vulnerable people here in the city. And this is a city that has many haves and many have-nots. Uh, and the people who wind up in court sometimes are also the people who would be considered the, ha the have-nots. And the Bible tells us to, to protect and to look out for and to take care of the vulnerable people in our communities. So I view what I do as being part of that, being part of representing and advocating for vulnerable, vulnerable people uh, who may not otherwise have a voice or be able to represent themselves, whether it's a language barrier or whether it's because of a, a disability. Um, or some other obstacle that might prevent them from having uh, to come to court and, and to represent their own interest. And the other side of that is that the people who bring the vulnerable people to court, they have a lot of resources. They have, and this is maybe a business transaction to them. So they're not necessarily looking out for the best interest of the person they're bringing to court. So I feel that my role there is to represent that, represent the best interest of the person that's being brought to court. Reliable housing offers things that uh, I guess those of us who have reliable housing might take for granted. So access to food that you enjoy eating, <laughs> um, access to your doctor, access to reliable public transportation, uh, even in some cases access to reliable heat and hot water. Uh, anytime somebody is in a building that uh, is doing relatively well and they lose that apartment, all of those things are off the table and they have to search for another place that may offer all of those things. My philosophy is if a housing court case is eliminated, then the threat of eviction is eliminated and then the resulting homelessness from eviction is eliminated. So my every case that I look at, I'm looking at how can I eliminate this threat of eviction because that's what will, could result in the homelessness. And we are called to be stewards and, and part of that is giving responsibly. And I view giving to causes that support Christian missions, even if they are not necessarily Christian organizations, um, as, a, as a wise use and, and proper stewardship of, of God's money. And I view, uh, again, helping vulnerable people, people who, who are really in need of help and really would not be able to survive without God's help um, as, as a, a way that we can support them. Uh, because ultimately it is God's money and if, if I'm taking five dollars out of my pocket to donate to this cause and it helps uh, another family, whether it's eat or be represented by an attorney or any other need that they may have, that is a proper use of, of, of our money.